One day, in the Hundred Acre Wood, Winnie the Pooh was going for a quiet walk with his good friend, Christopher Robin. Oh, bother. There's a rumbly in my tumbly. <laughs> You're always hungry, Pooh Bear. I know. Why don't you try thinking of something besides your tummy? That's a very good idea, Christopher Robin. Now, I wonder what else I could think about. Well, you could remember some of your favourite times. Oh, yes. Now, think, think, think. Well, I think my favourite times are always the friendliest times. And birthday parties are very friendly indeed. And so, to forget his hunger, Winnie the Pooh decided to remember a few birthday parties by looking at his friend's birthday scrapbooks. Here, you may continue your adventure from where you last left it. A picture book is a wonderful way to remember your adventure. So Winnie the Pooh remembered the birthday of his friend, Ooh. Tigger, and forgot all about his rumbly-tumbly. Hello, Roo. Are you ready for Tigger's birthday? Oh no, Pooh. Two of the Tigger costumes blew away. And we need them for Tigger's surprise birthday picture. No, dear. It seems to me that we shall need all the costumes to take the picture. Hey! Maybe my mama saw where the costumes blew to. I think she's over by Piglet's house. Oh, 
You've come at just the right time. The costume is on the other side of this ravine. I'm afraid it's impossible to reach. Now, I'm sure Owl could help. Oh, but it seems the path to his house is blocked by thorns. Here, Pooh, take the key to my shed. There are tools in there that could help you. I think this is the key to Kanga's shed.
This is Kanga's shed. It's where she keeps her gardening tools. I wonder if these large scissors are strong enough to cut brambles. the thing to do is cut through them. I think I can call Owl with this bell. I think I shall need a bell to call Owl. Hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hello, Pooh. Oh, I'm very glad I found you, Owl. You see, I was wondering if you could help us cross the ravine near Piglet's house. Oh, dear boy, I would love to, but I don't have the time just now. I'm certain I can think of something, though. Why don't you catch a few butterflies with this net? Then they could pick up Piglet and take him over the ravine. <laughs> Genius idea, if I do say so myself. A butterfly net is rather useful for catching butterflies.
<laughs> Hello, Eeyore. How are you today? No better, no worse. Trying to catch these butterflies. Kinda hard to catch them without a net, though. Hmm. A butterfly net is rather useful for catching butterflies. Hmm. Thanks for bringing me the butterfly net, Pooh. Why, certainly, Eeyore. In fact, I think I need to catch some butterflies, too. So I thought perhaps we could catch them together. Sounds fine to me. Gotta be quick, <laughs> though. The butterflies are flying extra fast today. Thank you for your help, Eeyore. You're welcome, Pooh. Glad to do it. Now I shall take these butterflies to Piglet. Sounds like a good idea to me. Owl asked me to give these butterflies to Piglet.
Has Owl found a way to get over the ravine yet? Oh, I'm sure he will. He's very smart about things like this. Hmm. Oh, the butterflies are lifting me up. Perhaps if I use one of my very scary faces, I might be able to chase it away. Oh, this is perfect. Oh, yes. Thank you, Piglet. Oh, you're welcome, Pooh. Now, Pooh, dear, you get the costume, and I'll wait for you in front of my house. Oh, 
a Tigger costume. Oh, I must take this to Kanga. Oh, Pooh, would you be so kind as to find the Tigger costumes for me? That's wonderful, dear. Now we're only missing one costume. And I think that I just saw it flying towards the mountain behind Owl's house. I shall never be able to get through. I wonder if Piglet could, seeing as he is a rather small animal. Piglet, I think I need your help. Of course, Pooh. I'd be happy to help you. You see, I need to go up the mountain, but the path is far too narrow for a bear of my uh, stoutness. Oh, I'll help you clear the path. Oh, my God. 
There you are, Pooh. Now you can go up the mountain. Oh, thank you, Piglet. Certainly, Pooh. Goodness, I'm rather tired now. Maybe I'll take a little nap before Tigger's party. Another Tigger costume. Oh, I must take this one to Kanga too. Hmm. 
How wonderful, dear. You've gathered all the costumes. Now we can take the surprise picture for Tigger's birthday. Oh, I hope he likes it. <laughs> Look at all my Tiggerific friends. Why, this is the best of birthday present I ever got. And indeed, Pooh remembered that Tigger's birthday party was one of the most enjoyable ever. Thank you.